Right, ladies and gents, what we're going to talk about today is a way to make you stronger and more flexible. Okay? The exercise that we're going to be working on today is the overhead squat. It's an exercise that no one really likes, but what you'll find is the exercises that you don't really tend to like tend to be the best ones for you. Okay? So in case you don't know what one is, I'll show you first and then we'll talk about it. So, arms wide. So, what I'll say about the width of the arms. You want to take it so that your hands are as wide as you can manage, but as narrow as possible. Okay? The more flex, the more, the narrower your hands are, the better you'll be at this exercise, and the, the more your strength will come on. Okay, so. Leg shoulder width apart, chest up, arms locked out, take a full squat and sit there as low as you can, nice and comfortable, and then come out of it. One from side on, just for the booty, or squat, you'll notice that the bar stays above my head, I'm not like this, I'm not like this all the way back. Once I'm comfortable, I stay there. And I can feel everything stretching while I'm down there. So not only will it make you, uh, will it make you more flexible um, in the lower body, it'll stretch out your quads, it'll stretch out your hamstrings, it'll stretch out your glutes, your calves, etc. Um, but what you'll also find, oh, in your hip joints, really in the inner thigh, right there. Um, but what you'll also find is you'll gain strength there. Your body will become more balanced, more functional. Okay? And that's what we're all after, especially as we grow older. We're getting tighter and tighter just through normal life. Now, our aim is to keep us as limber as possible for as long as possible. Okay? So not only will it work the lower body and stretch the lower body, it will also stretch out your upper body. So you're talking chest, shoulders, and biceps. Okay, that is one point where everyone works too much. You'll see the guys in the gym, especially the big guys, most big guys, sometimes it's, it's small little old ladies. Um, I always tell a story to people about uh, my nana, my nana, bless her, she used to have this little hunch, and she used to walk everywhere like this, now that wasn't actually from, uh, from competitive bo uh, bodybuilding that she was doing wrong. That was just, we walk everywhere, and as a result, our shoulders tighten, our chest tightens. And as a result, our back becomes more flexible and not strong. See, that's the reason why people are getting hunched. By adding workouts in the gym where you're just working your chest, your shoulders, and your biceps, then you're just gonna make that imbalance even worse. Everyone in the gym, when they go to train shoulders, how many people do you see doing this? <sighs> Leaning right back to work their shoulders. And you think, shoulders are here, yeah? You've got three parts. You've got the anterior, you've got the medial, and you've got the posterior. That's three different parts. This, we're only working anterior, if that. We're probably just working upper chest, to be honest with you. Yeah, and just catch, catching the front of your delt. Now, um, the good thing about this overhead squat is you'll correct all of that. So you'll see, I'm quite hunched here. By holding on to the overhead squat, I take it up. All of a sudden, I push my head through and I can feel my flexibility coming already i can feel my shoulders stretch out i can feel my chest my biceps stretch out what you'll find is if you've got stretched out muscles then they're only going to be able to train harder yeah the more you stretch them the more room they've got to grow that's the beauty of it um so here we go the overhead squat i want you to hold it above the head, take that nice little sit down, 
tuck the chin and just forget about the world. I want you to try this for 10 minutes. Yes, 10 minutes. You're gonna to aim to stay in the squat longer than you're out of the squat, if that makes sense. So the longer you stay in it, the better. Eventually you'll be able to do the full 10 minutes, no problem. Do it once a day um, with nothing more than this. Look, this is nice and light. Yeah, 2.5 kilo that weighs. But at least once a week, no, at least twice a week, add extra weight. Only once you've got that flexibility, yeah? Once you're able to get it above your head, that means you've got enough flexibility to start adding weight to your overhead squat. Um, finally, everyone, I just wanna make this clear. Now keep in mind that the body controls the mind and the mind controls the body. If you're tight, if you're restricted, if your body is physically depressed, then keep in mind that may follow on to result in your mind being more depressed. If your body has that element of depression in it, then it's only gonna go onto the mind. Keep in mind, how many people have you seen who are you know, down in the dumps and they always walk around like this. Bless them. Okay? Especially, um, here's another point. When you hear of a stand-up guy, yeah? A stand-up guy, yeah? He's always normally a pretty good guy. A happy guy. A guy to know. Okay? So, have a think. Try the overhead squat. And uh, let me know your findings. Bye.